Hi, my name is Hunter Jonas. I'm an instructor of pediatrics at Emory University, and I'm excited to tell you about my project, Driving the Tumor Infiltration and Persistence of Gamma Delta T Cellular Therapies for Neuroblastoma. The type of cancer that I study is called neuroblastoma. It is an extracranial solid tumor that occurs in children often as young as the age of two. High-risk cases of neuroblastoma are incredibly aggressive, and really there's no current treatment options for the patients that don't respond to the upfront chemotherapy or immunotherapies that are currently available to them. So my goal is to develop a treatment for neuroblastoma patients that don't currently have any other options for a cure. Early on, funding is really hard for young investigators, and while it's really, really hard, it's equally as important to, in order to continue your career. If you don't get some sort of track record of funding early on, it's really hard to get that promotion and transition out of postdoctoral fellowship and into more of a junior-level faculty position. And so for me, this Cure Search funding has enabled me to do that, um, and I think the platform does that for many, many other Cure Search funded investigators. So recently, our group translated unengineered gamma delta T cells to the clinic for patients with high-risk neuroblastoma. But one of the things that we're noticing from the lab standpoint is that there's really a need to make this therapy even more potent. And we think we can do that by one, helping it get into tumors um, more effectively, and then also making modifications that are going to help the gamma delta T cells persist and last longer within the body. And so the ultimate objectives of this project are to try different engineering modifications and combination strategies to make those two things happen. My work really takes white blood cells that can be collected from anybody, any healthy adult, and uses those white blood cells to fight a patient's tumor. And so we're able to take white blood cells, um, collect them from blood, and then bring them into the lab and expand them with different cytokines and other nutrients that help that specific um, subset of white blood cell called the gamma delta T cell grow in number. Once we've got enough of those in number, we can then infuse them into a patient without the risk of them activating against the patient. And so this makes a really unique cellular therapy called an allogeneic cell therapy. I would love to see that a gamma delta T cell could potentially lead to a cure for neuroblastoma and the engineering strategies that we're taking. Um, but ultimately, whatever that cure is, that's my ultimate hope, is that we can find it and we can give patients back life and time with their families.